I'm going to read another poem by Miyazawa Kenji, the greatest Japanese poet of the modern era. It's a humorous poem, but it has images of cold and heat, of sand and ice. And it's about change. It's about climate change. It's actually very prophetic. And it's called An Icy Joke. An Icy Joke. My dear fellow staff members, our school has been consumed by a desert. The cryptomeria forest is now a wood of Persian date palms. Our fields are gone, as are our thickets. The entire area is but an ice cloud of fine frozen sand. Mr. Shirabuchi, seeing as an Arabian genie has made his way straight up to about 39 degrees north latitude, why was there no official notification from temple headquarters? The air about the place was one of jolly celebration when we returned from class a while ago. Flowers off the silk tree and down off the goose's breast snowed down from the blue round of a brilliant sky. And while you were doing the binding on our term schedule and I was building a fire, that bewitching lake of ours stagnated in a garish display of light. That's right, there's no doubt about it. If I were the chief abbot at your temple, it would be high time, I'd reckon, to put all your proselytizers atop a gigantic camel and send them to the ends of the earth through opal smoke, the milky white willow fog of iridescence. I'd attach that massive drifting desert's virtual image to one or a company of soldiers or a caravan. I'd order them to stuff the pains of the world into the water skins hanging off the back of hot, gasping camels and sink them tightly sealed in the polar sea. And then perhaps it would all turn into a mighty dragon sending violent hailstorms to every corner of the globe. And at such time, I, as your chief abbot, would don a nine striped surplice and appear on the crystal days of temple headquarters, the top of my skull shaved bone shiny I'd have two attendants hold up an incense burner and a white lily and unruffled, with eyes raised to the sky, I'd create a couplet of the gata to pacify the dragon. Well, wouldn't you know it, the journalists have finally arrived on the scene.